worship him. We bow down and worship, and worship you. We worship you. We 
There is no better declaration, Lord, than saying, Lord, we love you. Wanela kamura hao matulong arona. Orezo shi mudimu waka dipete esi fapano. Kika ho umunga bina mudimu waka uke teng si fapano mo. Tupulo ya kake ibonete. Masho aka anea fufezi impajwale kia bona. Mudimu relebua horo ote relebua hore. Aona lito leka timezambu temba hao. Relebo hore boholo ba hao nta tebo keke ba leka angwa. Wena uduzi si tulon sa hao mudimu waka katato ya hao. Nta tuwa kalukile uwe lefasi kibu na melo ba mautu wa hao. Mudimu waka ya lukile. Rebo mang hore rona rifuwe mpo ya moya o halalela. Rebo mang rona mudimu waka ya lukile hore rekabi tuwa ba kreste. Who are we, Lord, that we can deserve the honor ya hororo mele mora ha hore are shwele di beza rona. Ezaya habu wakayena mudimu wakawrona sinase bopeho. 
unasa shebehi unasa ratehi empa mudimu wa mutlisa horona hore be patedi ya maphilo a rona re thuse mudimu wa ka lokileng that we take this moment so serious so personal in us lord maphilo nga rona re le wanta te ka lebitso la Christ morena hore re ba bitswa nka lebitso la Jesu Christ Real le boa modimo a ka batho ba bangata ba ditswa ka mabitso a fapaneng empa rona modimo a ka re a dumela pelo ntsa rona le menya rona hore ra moetse Kriste jolo ka morena maphelong a rona ha ona mpho e fitanye o modimo a ka lokileng hore re bitswe ba lokileng ka Kriste morena so many things that we do as human beings to appear righteous Lord, to appear good to appear to have certain statuses mara ha ona statuses e bete go fita sa o bitswa mo kreste re thuse mo dimo ka ru tlisise hore re reng ha re re ba kreste ke a le wanta te lo seng ha ka jeno ka le bitso la kreste mo rena ke sa tla go le ntse la hao ka ra bana ba hao lo seng wena mo dimo aka o go kwale le rata ditsebentsa bona mo dimo aka me nya bona mo dimo aka lokileng ke le lontsa bona I'm just a vessel. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Amen. Greetings in the Church of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. On a le na kotseding mo utwa mbutemba mudemo katsula enwe very different. There are times where you'd feel the presence of the Lord in a different way. His presence is always different. Mudemba hai budula bofa ba. But there's a unique way utwa mudemo na lantwa limbiza yetsa ngayo. But the light thing is healing that you feel that there's something. Eneke dumela ho mudemo. This is one of those days. I believe kila len la matatia. Hallelujah. Amen. It's so good to be in this place. The whole week up until now. We thank the Lord who's been with us. So many things that we have passed through up until today. And therefore, it is worthy to say, It is worthy to say, Lord, you are good. For you kept us up to here. Amen. Amen. Now, I hope we will be able to finish on time so that we continue with the meeting feedback we did last week. Uh, so that those who missed such important information by Tole today. And then for those who have to do their new members class, be able to do that on time. And those leaders who are going to the workshop in the boardroom, so that we do that. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, you were looking at my notes here. <laughs> I didn't. And I can share notes with Zakalu Mutu. Mudimu ha, I introduce himself. When God, I see this up, Hobabang. Or I am. He says, Kin Nahi. And other version says, Petulal said in Diri. I'm the Lord. You see, when someone says, I am the Lord, they understand the power and authority that they have. And that's who God is. And that's what God passes to us through the blood of Christ and through the power of the Holy Spirit. God gives us the power, the authority. Yes. God gives us authority 
There's a difference between power and authority. Now, um, just to take you back a bit, as we relaunch after that, we embarked on a series yeah, according to, the, to our logo. Then we spoke about the cross. And we move on and talk. Oh, hallelujah. That why do we believe in the cross of Jesus and in the Holy Spirit? As the congregation. And we move on. There's something God is calling us to do. We believe that there's a river that has to flow. And its water has to spread as they flow. And this it revives life unto the tree that never had life. If there's something that I hold on from all that, each and every tree will give fruits. Is that is a fat and the tolwana and the living fruits. And makala atona atati And its leaves shall bring healing. I'm, I have not left this issue. I'm with this issue. Every time when I think of the fruit and the leaves, that brings healing. That I am that fruit that has to bring this kind of healing. What an honor that God has bestowed on And we move on and talk about our logo, our motto, that it is not our works, but it is our faith in his works. It is not our works that we have done, but it is our faith in his works. His words. Now, today, Kibatao is something different. But uh, we actually declaring what has been happening. That everything that is happening up until the day of today is not of a congregation, congregant, nor any pastor. But it is the mighty hand of God. It is the mighty hand of God. all things that we can see or hear of. You see, for the Israelites to conquer the Egyptians. For Pharaoh to understand that it is God who is alive. He just not needed to hear only that he is the Almighty God. That he is the one who walks with Israel. But there are things that had to take place for Pharaoh to understand. There was a revelation that has to compel him. That he must know that surely there is God. And he Hence we see ten plagues upon Egypt. And through these plagues that God hit Egypt, Pharaoh came to a point where there's something these people are having. Pharaoh surely But as he said, you can go now. Can go, but don't go far. He says, <laughs> You can take this and this, leave this and that. Why are you speak like that? It's because he can see that they possess something that he doesn't have. So they discover who they But it might not be far from him. And I said this words. I wish that you kept those words in your heart. That, that it is better that you might go through 
the wrath of God than the curse of God. Mm. 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 Do you understand me? I would rather go through the wrath of God than to go through Israeli society. Now the problem is this. We believe the case when it's spoken by people to us. And we get more stressed even more. But we don't believe when God says, I can do that. To you. It's like time can come that we might take God very serious. I guess when He says, I'm who I am, He was silencing every question. But He had to take now we are living in a delicate time by the times that we are living in are times where you need to choose whom do you belong to time to play salvation it's over time to just attend church is over for when you just attend every time when we are here we are going to annoy you with the things that you continue for we don't speak about the most important church but we don't speak about the bring what the word of God says. So times are delicate. We, we need what is called Kairos time. Actually, it is day. As the sons of, sons of Isaac, it might it's like we can see what is happening. Now, problem is if you can see, you are complicated. You are implicated, I mean to say. No, I can say because you know, there's nothing that you can say when I, there's nothing on your body. But you born. But you saw. And you have to do. And it is in the act where it to be that the fruits might come out. Fruits of the Holy Spirit in you. You cannot be selective. That you, you want God to use you there and here, not there. And that is why we are more intense because of this. say we are here, we are Kalabakalaha. And I believe we need the power of God. We need a mighty hand of power of God. For each and every day. We cannot face a day without holding on on what God says to us. We need a mighty hand of power of God. There's a question that Isaiah asked the other day. He says to whom that the hand of God might have been revealed. To. Whom has it been revealed to? And you remember when Isaiah God called him. He says, Here I am, Lord. I'm available. But when you go to chapter 53, he says, The hand of the Lord. To whom has it been revealed? Look, you cannot understand the power until you understand or you receive revelation. My God. You can't understand the power if you don't understand the revelation. So it is the revelation that reveals the power. It is not the power that reveals the revelation. But it is the revelation that brings power. Yes. Yes. You need the revelation. For you to understand what the Lord is doing. Who are you before the church? Who are you before God's kingdom? In the family of Christ, who are you? 
You don't need power, you need revelation. And the revelation is the Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Not just the mere Jesus with the mouth. But in our hearts, we must believe and we confess with our mouth that Jesus is the Lord. And I walk under together of the Holy Spirit. Then you'll understand how serious it is the business of God's kingdom. business business. It's not the matter to keep busy. About. We want to understand and see that we are where we are is because of the mighty hand of God upon us. And therefore, therefore, power is not enough without revelation of God. Make Ecclesiastes 9 verse 10. As we read Ecclesiastes 9 10. Whatsoever thy hand find to do, it, do it with all thy might. Whatsoever your hand find to do, do it with all thy might. Whatsoever thy hand finds to do, make sure that you do it with all your mind. Mara, be careful lest you do that. <laughs> all right. Be careful as you do that. To with whose power are you doing it? And now this is an interesting thing that the, uh, this book brings. It is interesting and exciting at the same time. Whatever that my hand finds, I can do. Then Obalala, there's nothing impossible. It means how little is a hale. Good and evil, there's nothing impossible. I can be able to do whatever. But the bottom line is this. I will be accountable for whatever I'm doing. Yes, Ecclesiastes says, enjoy your youth. For the decisions that you do. So therefore, man has such power. To the moon. A man can create or open up a tunnel. He can create a chair. So there is nothing that is impossible that our hands can do. And therefore, it means our hands are gifted. But there is a mighty hand. That come and inspires my hand to do good. So everything that your hand can do, go out and do it. For history has proven us right. Petros wa pili five six says, "Joala li koko bete kata sali tsoho." First Peter five six says, "Now you submit under the mighty hand of God." At the alipa miseka na ko e lukela. That He may exalt you at the right time. So humble yourselves under the mighty power of God. Joala li koko bete kata sali tsoho le mata la mudi. And in His good time, kana ko ya hai e lukile. He will honor you or exalt you. Nothing shall be exalted. But everything with has, have, has to have a hand to be lifted up. And then to we it it goes above your length. When you lift ah, yeah, something, yeah, yeah, if it yeah, is yeah, a yeah. bottle in. I've got this bottle here. I've, I've, I, I have not lifted it up. But when I lift this, it has to be like this. Humble yourself. At the right 
Let Jehovah it may promise. be Jehovah who will exalt you. He will lift you up among all the trials. He will uplift you amidst all the names. He will lift you amidst all the discouragements. He will lift you amidst all the all the demons. But humble yourself. For the hand of God is the one that shall lift you up. But here the problem is we worry so much about our positions. Our status is that we need to be recognized with. It is enough to be recognized by God. Ours is just to be humble. And so that he may lift us up again. His mighty power lies on his hand. That is seen in us. When actually times are when times are tough, it is what is more revealed in our lives. Behold, the healing that God has brought is not just bringing it to keep us busy, but to brought it that it might be revealed when you go out to do an act, you do it for you who say Confusion. What do for those who are still that the hand of God might be seen. Yours is to humble yourself. As you humble yourself, when we shout and say, here's an outreach, we are sabe la run to that. For we want to see the hand of God in action. So his hand is seen much better when things are tough. He encourages the church and under the hand of God. Another way that he tells them. He he says, says, Don't forget where you come from. Do not forget where you come from. Do not forget who you were. Do not forget who you were. Today you can see where you are and you start to look down on others. Today you've got a measurement stick that they have said this much and this one this. Don't forget where you come from. And the demons that they have. But things that were troubling you they have been hand of God greater than the ones that you so see. You so you therefore you humble yourself that you might be exalted by the Lord. Where I grew up, I would see people coming into the church. If they come in late, they are bending down like this, going to their church. And I always, if they did, they did, put out an ask myself, when they are bending like this, is their heart also like that? Because what we see with the naked eye, as impress my own halalela. Not impress the Holy Spirit. But it is what is inside. And that what is inside. Se expose a second. Exposes the one that is outside. What is inside? Se pepe Exposes. Come on, come on, so much of it. It means it just put. And now, when public, something really appears, when we publicize something, we there is no chance to hide it. Can I get amen? Amen. What is it that the Holy Spirit has exposed this morning as you enter? This morning? What is it? that you've said that demolishes it's a eye. not the building. When you, say discussion, you were not in the discussion. But the Holy Spirit exposed you. What is it that you said as you enter here? Is it the way that builds? Is it the way that destroys? As I speak, like oh, this, the Holy Spirit speaks with me. One of the good days, I 
our tongue shall pray. Because as we come, if we don't realize we are coming to the place where God wants to speak with his people, we will be heard. He asked Ananias and Safira. We need to humble ourselves. Don't forget where you're coming from. All the victories that you had, it is through God. Don't forget that what God has been unto you. Don't forget what has he done unto your enemies. That is not gospel. This is the real one. Do not forget what he has done to your enemies. If you want to see what God does to your enemies, go and read Psalms 83. Yo. The other one is googling it already. God will deal with those enemies. It is only God who made your life what it is today. You know, there are moments of the kiss and say goodbye. The time will come that you go to employers. And you say to them, thanks for hiring me and firing me. Because you're not going to be able to do it. When the word of God says you are free, employer, how you now keep us a slave. Employer will enslave you. I'm not talking to anyone, I'm just saying. And the scabbard, I'm going to work at the I get to the next scabbard about me. I know nothing about you. Marasoko Blenanso, Nagosele Haufinia, time is at hand. That you will say thanks for hiring me. Over the Monday, hug. Come, give me a hug, please. Thanks for hiring me. Can I go? How are you firing me? How so fire? When you say, how they have not yet fired. You are actually living when. When I wait, I'm a. Because the hand of God, where it wants to take you. Even. But how now? What am I doing? The job that you do. So that the Lord has called you to do. If your job is to clean the toilet, there's a strategic place you do. The Lord has called you to do. Your purpose is not to go to the Lord. Every space who ever calls himself a Christian needs to understand what is happening. That's what with you in that place. You don't just go to work and come back. You have a purpose. Why are you going there? Another one says, as for me who's not waking, look the birds of the sky. They sleep. They eat. And they've never done any hunger strike. Empire, you have been given the life. You need to see. He coached to those who don't work. It's like some of you did not hear him what he said. Come, come with your Cadbury's cell six to me. Do something. Cadbury, you want to run? Run, run, run. 
Kirikila ice when they could look at it, can catch something in ice. I bought an ice. This maybe some take five. I could see Pitoria Mobavisa. I used to buy this thing at 150. Yes. Udu let's sing win. Why are you? Once I was open, I told Lamudimu, let's say it's a girl. You want to see the work of God working with you. More only where you are, God is using you. It's just also how we say it. fellow, you have never put it into practice. Ah, come on, come on. <laughs> why, why I say this? Obani kibuachin. Jacob abu ore mpo engule mwe ente ito humudi. James says every good gift comes from. Every good gift comes. Can I can I show you? It is us who cares the good gift that God has given us. Just because you fail to, 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 to pick why all the must make soul and soul. And therefore you speak negative against death. And then it becomes negative. After that you play faster. We play, you play fast. Faster. You play as, as to pray for you. That things might. But yet those things were messed up by you. You couldn't see the hand of God. If it's every good it comes from the Lord. I'm tired. I don't want to come here. What did the Lord say? Did you speak with him? What did he say about that? But only when you humble yourself, you will always remember who is your source. And as you remember, you will be able to take the next generation. Tell them that the Lord is faithful. Nothing is as good as those But should know that the Lord is faithful. Because those who come to what we say, listen to what they will receive. But be careful. Or ask about someone next to you. Or it might not be much listening what you say. But those who have a man must listen. Must hear that our God is faithful. You teach them to depend on the Lord. If the hands of men can do whatever it finds, how much more of God's hands? Now, power is the ability of being able to do or control or do something. But authority, look at this one, authority is power over things to turn as you wish them to be. Power is is, is it enables you to control to do something. But authority gives you power. Power don't gives you authority. Authority gives you power. Oh, yes. Says one? Yes. To turn things as you want them to be. But the opposite of this is lies. And we know who is the father of lies. So any form of lie. Either the one that you spoke yesterday or you spoke this morning before service starts. Any form of lie. It produces only one thing. Confusion. And dividing force. And now this thing is, it is not easy to repair it. How easy? 
It's not easy. It's not easy to repair this. Life needs to be built on top of another. Healing of lights one. Confession. And confession is such a difficult thing to come out of our lives. It doesn't come easy. It's a very difficult thing, confession, to Into come out. Let's all the hand of God created the Libupile heavens. Created the Libupile heavens. Wayne. Created you. Quickly, let me come to this. What does this hand do? It exalts you. Hence, Peter says, humble yourself. It will lift you up. It will harm you. There are people, there are demons, there are agents 24-7. They are working to oppress you. Until you are always oppressed. You taste the but remain freedom but the hand of has got the power to lift you up. I can't want to man in a more. I almost like them more. Capilina booking at the chronic at 29 12. Or both riches, he says, Baru, both riches and honor come from you. Le Ruolo, Seletrotla, did to a hue, and you reign over all. In your hand is power and might. In your hand it is to take, is to make a great and to give strength to all. Happy on a lemata lutzon lao, au udisa liao tisa. And you have power in your hand to enlarge and to strengthen. Utisa din toto. Strengthen everything. Utisa kang. What are we strengthening? Aonan toka itisa ngamlo. Mtamila itiso samao. You can strengthen with the mouth. So, mudimu ngu lu ruo lo si. Now, God says all riches. Sente ona lu nyona yo. Every sente that you have. Itisi se bu pilomba hao. I have strengthen it over you. Healthy ona lu nyona yo. Itisi se bu pilomba hao. I have strengthen it over you. I have strengthened this as the law. And the second thing, the hand of God can unlock your spiritual capability. Ezekiel 8, verse 1. It says the power that comes from the Lord shakes me. The power that comes from the Lord shakes me. Who are my prophet or mudim? It's the prophet of God. If I can not shake the prophet of God, may it shake you. And this end of God. Able to do miracles through you. Remember the Lord, miracle that the Lord has done. Through you, not someone else. There's a miracle that the Lord is doing through you. This, this hand is able to stand against your enemies and the enemies of God's kingdom. Someone was called by Jesus. It's the one who stood against Paul. My Bible in verse 9 says this. Then Saul, who is also called Paul, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked intently at him and said, Oh, full of deceit and all fraud. You son of David. You enemy of all righteousness. You will not cease perverting the straight ways of the Lord. 
Now, Uta verse 11. And now, indeed, the hand of the Lord is upon you. You shall be blind. Now, how we move up our laws? authority You shall be blind. Not seeing the sun for a time. And immediately, a dark mist fell on him. And he went around seeking someone to lead him by the way. Because you know, there are so many adversaries upon your life. But I say, shut them down with the authority of Let the hand of the power of God be the one that deals with your bad Jesus. To extend, there is now troubled and needs the one to walk him through. Go and read Psalm 83. And this hand of God prevailing times of, of trouble. Go and ask Joseph, ask David. How this hand strengthens. When tongues are faced against you. When adversaries are against you. Don't ask David and Joseph. You might as well come and ask. I know how the hand of God can lift you up. It's my prayer that this hand finds you. It may strengthen. It might not leave you alone. But it should strengthen you. Let's bow our heads. May the hand of this God be manifested upon your life. Monday morning, Rata, we get us at the talk about Rona. Rata, look at all the schemes that we may defeat the enemy. To extend the Baba Mbaro Namudimu, we go and consult. We go to Bar Jesus, we go to all Lord. Because we don't want to be seen entering the houses of Inyanga. And Lord, we have put GPS for demons to come and attack us. Maybe our pastors, maybe our leaders are not even aware. Help us, Lord, to repent unto you. And help us, Lord, to unlock any form of something that they written written in Kanete modimo sebele tsuya rona ha ona le tlhole go le entseng empa ele le tsola ha o re ge fihlelletse mo re le ntemo modimo aka when we look back lord it has been so good it has been so tough it has been so discouraging in so many times but lord as we normally say we are still standing and that is why lord we say it is not our works but it is our faith in your works, Lord. Ya ha o mesebetse modimo ha yetse marata empa ya bona hala. Ha ya rona mesebetse modimo aka lukileng. Re rata hore yetse marata, re rata hore modimo aka lukileng. 
everybody must pay attention to. Forgive us, Lord, for being such people. So hypocritic. While the word says, but we want to lift us ourselves, Lord. But bring us to a place of being true Christians, Lord. It's to love, it's to care. And doing all this through your Holy Spirit. And not doing this, Lord, without wisdom its own way. For all, each and every good gift your word says comes to you. Comes from you, Lord. Kaho mudi muaka, jolo kaha paulo sabua mudi muaka lukileng. Ora hawa ribile tsa mudi muaka. Efan khedi nyao bapa, lempa u ribile di tsa mudi mu. Efan khedi nye polo sa. Kaho nanta te ritu se lo se nga kajin. Le tsoho la rona mudi muaka. Amen.